All right, so in part four, Cinema 4D tutorial, robot arm, we're going to be working on the claw. And I just uh, rendered this out and was just working on getting things straightened out for the tutorial, playing around, making sure I could uh, do things smoothly. So. Uh, what we have here is a IK chain and I'm going to turn my cloner off and you see here that I have uh, three joints all set up in a hierarchy added an IK tag and then dropped in some geometry into there and then on this last sphere I placed a um, constraint tag so that it would point the right way that I wanted it to and the goal object um, I wrapped in a null and made the null uh, display as a hexagon went to basic and changed the color to green so that when I'm not selected on it I can see it's green make it easier to select and by moving this on the z-axis we can move the claw in and out and then moving it on the y-axis can move it up and down so um, attached that cloner to just a simple geometry base here so let's go ahead and get started okay so here we are <clears throat> and the way we're gonna start this is with the character menu <clears throat> we're gonna use a joint we're going to copy that joint into itself creating a child so we're gonna do that again so that we have three joints and one two three each being a child of the other now can't figure out that process you could always um, make three joints by coming to the character menu and dropping one into here and then dropping one into there same whoop, sorry this one needs to be a child of that one so same thing what you need is three joints <clears throat> now I'm going to select all three of those press alt G to put them in a group I'm going to open up that group and I want to select the first and shift select the last I'm going to come to the character menu come down to commands and create IK chain what that's going to do for me is make a joint goal object and actually er, back up I'm going to command Z um, let's take these joints really quick and I need to take the uh, second one and no, I'm going to line it up now the uh, the joints are aligned on the z-axis so I'm in the z-axis here and I'm going to drag this out holding shift and I'll make that 200 then I'm gonna grab the other joint and move it out so that I have two what look like bones okay <clears throat> now I'm going to click on one shift click on the other one and now I can add my IK chain so create IK chain I'm going to take my goal and just drop it down here and I want to group my goal so alt G and this is the one that I'm going to call grab here and then I'm going to group that again <clears throat> so that I have a null and I'm going to rename this goal 
So I have my goal and I have my grab here. Now this is the one that I want to change the display to be a, you could really use anything. Um, just pick something from here that's going to be easy for you to recognize. And I'm going to use the color, so I'll turn this on. And I'm just going to use a color that doesn't really show up much in the scene otherwise. Now I'm going to go back to the object and I'm going to make that larger. So then when I click off of it, you see that it is now green. And I can grab it. And this is how I can move my robot arm around. So we're most of the way there. Now to reset that, I can grab here and hit my PSR reset button. And that resets my bone. Okay, so let's start dropping in our geometry. And first, um, I'm going to start with a cylinder. Now, you can do this however you want. Um, you could use uh, something different for this if you wanted. If you wanted, you could set up a cube. But um, what I'm going to do is take my cylinder and I'm going to set it on the Z axis for the orientation. All right, and I'm going to drop the radius down. And I didn't use exact figures. Um, I think the one I made a few minutes ago was uh, I used a larger diameter than I did for the one uh, this, that I submitted for the model contest. And it doesn't really matter. Now the height does matter. I want this to stay 200 because that is the length of my bones. So um, 13 seems to be good. What I've been doing is I have been uh, making it about the size where the bones pop out a little bit. I can turn my rotation segments down and I'm gonna go down to 12 and see what that looks like. Maybe 16. Um, I heard from somebody a kind of a rule of thumb is uh, if you have enough segments that it looks white like that then you've got too many segments so um, and also in my final model my rotation I mean I'm sorry my polygon count got pretty high and my robot arm was uh, pretty heavy on my computer now I do have an older computer so you may be able to handle those polygons just fine but if you're taking your robot arm and you're putting it into a scene you got to think of the overall polygon count so uh, 16 is going to work for me I don't need to change my height segments but what I do need to do is make this object editable <clears throat> I can do that here by pressing this button or I can press C on my keyboard so now this object is editable and that allows me to move the axis center point and I'm going to move that on the Z axis down to this end and I know that I need to move it 100 centimeters in order to have it at the very end uh, this is a 200 centimeter on the height for the cylinder so I need to move it 100 this way and I want it right on the end and what that is going to allow me to do is drop it into my joint and use my PSR reset and it will go right where I need it to be. Now it also does rotate it around but I haven't noticed any adverse effects to that where my Y plus is now pointing down and so let's go ahead do that again I'm gonna drag out hold control to make a copy and let go inside of the other joint and looks like I didn't make a copy. There we go. Now I have a cylinder in each one. So I'm going to click on this second one and use my PSR reset. And now that pushed it down so that it's matched up with my second bone or joint object that looks like a bone. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, the next object that I want to create is a sphere so I just make a sphere and I need to bring down the radius I can't remember exactly what I was using but 
you want it big enough to